All right, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is Tragic Life here with Pokemon Yellow. Um, I just want to scroll through this while I'm talking to you guys. So last time we were on this, it's been a while for me. Um, we went through the silk company and we went through all the optional path, uh, making sure that we beat everyone that we're not going to be forced to run into. Um, and on this journey, we're going to go ahead and do the story path. Um, I might try to get two videos in this morning. I can't guarantee that because generally I like to stop and get breakfast on my way to work. Um, but as you've seen, we've seen 109 uh, Pokemon out of the 100 and uh, how many is there? I actually had it written down and I don't know why I put my notebook. It was 151. Um, a lot in here. Now, 151. Um, there's about 15 we can obtain. So we're, we're getting really close. Um, and we're going to keep doing it. So, uh, what Pokemon do I have? I have a Star Yu. And I just realized I've been leveling him up to to uh, evolve, and that's not how they evolve. So I'll have to look into that. Alright. Um, we should be on the third floor. Let, let, let me double check. Okay, it doesn't tell me. So let me. I, I'm pretty sure I left on the third floor, but I want to make sure. Um, so while I'm on this, go ahead and uh, hit that like button, that subscribe button, and leave me a comment. Um, for you, for those of you that are new to my page um, and new to this set of videos, this is my first playthrough of this. So, um, yeah, I'm getting better. Okay. second to see exactly where we're going here because it's telling me southwest and go to number seven but I, I don't actually have like the uh, map pulled up okay so I'm glad that I looked so we're gonna go through this teleporter here give me a second to find my places um, I should have so just like the Final Fantasy games that I play I don't actually play ahead um so in that way I'm blind I do I do use a guide but for the most part I'm not playing ahead I'm not reading ahead I'm all right taking two steps to the left will trigger a battle with your rival one two all right what kept you ash <laughs> I thought you'd turn up if I waited here. I guess Team Rocket slowed you down. Not that I care. I saw you in Saffron, so I decided to see if you got better. Alright, so got to break this down. If you're playing Blue and you chose Bulbasaur, um, he'll have Pidgeot, Execute, Gyarados, Gerard, what, uh, Gyarados, I think it is, Alakazam, and Charizard. If you chose Charmander, he'll have Pidgeot, Growlithe, Execute, Alakazam, and Blastoise. If you chose Squirtle, he'll have Pidgeot, Gyarados, Growlithe, Alakazam, and Venusaur. Um, he has a 12.5% chance of using Potion on his active Pokemon if it's below 20% of its maximum HP. He can use one Potion per Pokemon. Alright, so... That's that's for red and blue. For yellow, it depends, and, and I'm confused because last time this was incorrect. Um, if you've lost or skipped both of the rival battles on uh, Professor Oak's Lavatory in Route 22, I have a slan, Sand Slash, Magnetron, Nine Tails, Kadabra, Vaporeon. If you won both, he'll have a Sand Slash, Nine Tails, Cloyster, Kadabra, Jolteon. If you lost, skip one, 
and you and one one, you'll have a sand slash cloister magnetron cadaver and a flareon. Uh, same thing with the potions. He has a chance of doing that now. Um, I remember beating him, but last time I did this, it was weird. So let's see what we got here. That's probably gonna hurt a little bit. Ah. I'm gonna win the fight. He's gonna do some damage, but eh. Please be it. Go to sleep. Yes. Alright, so which one is we gonna get? We should be getting Nine Tails, because I've never lost to him. See, it's saying that I skip or lost. I've never lost to him, so I'm I'm really confused by this. To be completely honest with you, yes, but I mean I'm not really worried about it. It might be something I did. Really, we're just gonna everyone's gonna get a hit first. All right, so it should be Nine Tails next. Yeah, I don't know why I'm fighting the losing side of this. I swear I've won every fight that I've had with this guy, but... Mm-hmm. No. Let's keep it up. That was a pretty good shot. All right. Dabra's next. Can I get through this with one Pokemon? That'd be awesome. Ooh, side beam hurt. Yes. Ow, good night, sir. Good night. So he's down to his last one. All right, all right. That's a good point. All right, here we go. Headbutt, water gun. So you are ready for Boss Rocket. Hmm. Well, Ash, I'm moving on up, and uh, by checking my Pokedex, I'm starting to see what's strong and how they evolve. I'm going to the Pokemon League to boot out the Elite Four. I'll become the world's most powerful trainer. Ash, well, good luck to you. Don't sweat it. Smell you later. I mean, you do whatever you want, but you, you, you haven't beat me yet, but... Alright, so, talk to this guy. Oh, hi, you're not a rocket, you came to save us. Why, well, thank you. I want you to have this Pokemon for saving us. Alright, we got a Lapras. Do you want to give it a nickname? No.
It's Lapras. It's very intelligent. We kept it in our lab, but it will be much better off with you. I think you will be a good trainer for Lapras. It's a good swimmer. It'll give you a lift. All right, hold on. So, um, the rating that he has for Lapras is actually a level 15, or he rates it a D. Um, not because it's not a good Pokemon, but because you get it at level 15 at this point in the game. So he's going to be very weak. He's going to be hard to level because of how far we are in the game. Um, which makes sense to me. Ah, here we go. A gentle soul that can read the minds of people. It can ferry people across the sea on its back. Cool. Um, yeah, so Lapras is a great Pokemon with a nice type combination, high stats, and excellent special move pool. However, it's, it is the first available at level 15, which means it is initially far too low level to be useful without significant grinding. Alright, so we're going to go backwards real quick. Um, back to the ninth floor to heal up. Because we did lose Graveler. I love the music of this. Is this one? It is. You look tired. You should take a quick nap. Thank you. I don't ever... I don't know how to give up. Ah, wrong way. Come on, you got this. Alright, so back to the third floor we go. So, we're going to go ahead and take this one here to the 11th floor. Hold it right there, Brad. Oh. Our boss is in a meeting. You better not disturb him. Okay, so... Rocket wants to fight. They sent out wheezing. <sighs> Got him. It's super effective. Okay, I'm doo -doo. ah, we're level forty. Yeah, um, which means I'm probably gonna switch out. Try to get everybody leveled up at the same time. Oh, wait, why did I do that? Uh, well, I'm too late now. You can't poison rock! Good night, sir. It's super effective. Meowth. I did it again. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> you just bit a rock. Ow, my teeth hurt. I ain't even got teeth. Well, that was a fun fight. <laughs> Oh, so only yellow fights Team Rocket. I didn't know that. Red and blue will instead fight a standard Rocket to the south, which will have a Cubone, a Drowsy, and a Marowak. Okay, uh, well, that's a difference. Cool. Ah, well, we didn't even get a lot of experience from this fight. Sad. What do you guys got to say to yourself? 
like always. Yeah, you would think you would learn. All right, so Team Rocket blast off at the speed of light again. All right. So before you go in here, just understand if you haven't fought all of the trainers in this area. Once you beat this guy here, all of them will go. That's why I did it first. Ah, Ash, so we meet again. The president and I are discussing a vital business pro proposition. Keep your nose out of grown-ups matters. Or experience a world of pain. I mean, bring it, sir. Bring it. So, red and blue, he uses a Nidorino... A Kangaskhan, a Rhyhorn, and a Nidal Queen. Okay. Um, so he has a different setup for yellow. Um, I'm probably going to take a hit here, but I, I forgot to switch out. I'm sorry, I am slacking. It has been a while since we played, so I'm a little bit rust. Giovanni has a 25% chance of using Guard Spec... Per turn to use guard spec on his active Pokemon. He can only use it once. What does guard spec do? Prevents a Pokemon stat stages from being decreased by the opponent. Uh, this does not prevent stat drop from the additional effects of damaging moves. The item has the same effect as using mist. Okay, so yeah, uh, that doesn't matter. This guy hits kind of hard. As long as I don't flinch, we're all right. All right. Okay, I'm actually going to take a nap with my character. Because this guy's not challenging until um, his, la his Nido Queen is kind of problematic. But it does have a lot of weaknesses, so there is that. A Persian. Did I get rid of rest? I don't think I got rid of rest. That actually hurt my ears. Okay, so I guess it was worth it. Wasn't 100% sure if that was worth it at the moment, but... Alright. A Rhyhorn. I think we're gonna body slam it, too. Oh, oh, uh-oh. Yeah, that was a waste of a turn, buddy. Okay, so we got through him, but that was not a good fight pairing for me. I didn't have such a strong character. I might do rest next to get my life back. I might not. I don't know yet. The last change. Oh. 
Oh, well. Oh, I don't even know if I'm gonna get through this. Why am I still asleep? Yeah, that was a waste of time. He's gonna wipe me. Well, that was a... That didn't work. Hopefully I didn't mess up here. We'll see in a second. All right. That was pretty decent. Am I gonna flinch? So, it, its strongest attack is actually a, a body slam, um, but it didn't do it. Oh, well, that sucks. So not only will I lose, you, will you lose all of the uh, trainers here, you'll also lose the nurse. After beating him. Uh, we beat the Giovanni for the second time. Or I lost again. You used to it, buddy. Blast it all. You ruined our plans for Sylph. But Team Rocket will never fall. Ash, never forget that. All Pokemon exist for the Team Rocket. I must go, but I shall return. Uh, did he just ninja vanish? Is that what he did? Alright, before leaving, thank you for rescuing all of us. We admire your courage. All right, so you want to go talk to that old guy right there. Thank you for saving Sylph. I will never forget you saved us in our moment of peril. I have to thank you in some way. Because I am rich, I can give you anything. Here, maybe this will do. Ash got a Master Ball. Okay, so the Master Ball is it's the one and only one you'll get in this game. It's unique item. Catches any wild Pokemon without fail. Except for the Pokemon Tower Marowak. Because you only receive one, you should save it for a Pokemon that is particularly difficult to catch. The prime candidates are the remaining Arcuno and Moltres, as well as this game's most powerful Pokemon, the legendary Mewtwo. All these Pokemon have a catch rate of 3, the lowest in the game, so this is where the Master Ball will have the most value. Interesting, there is a working PC in the bottom right corner of the room, which comes in handy if you need to deposit some items to make room for the Master Ball. Hey, that's nice. Alright. So, make your way back to the teleport floor, blah, 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 blah. Then we got a couple more things to do, but we're basically done with the silk company, so... I mean, not basically done. We are officially done. What's up? Huh. Yeah. All right, where's the exit? There it is. Um, we do have some things to do, so let's go ahead and get those done. So Pidgeot, let's fly. We're going to Saffron City. That's where we are. Okay. All 
Okay, so we need to, I need to go change something um, real quick. Where's the shop? This game really needed a run function. Yep, that's it. So we bought something early, uh, actually, since I'm here, why not? Eventually, one of these days off camera, I'm going to go through here and I'm going to start selling some of my TMs that I'm not going to use because I'm running out of room for stuff. Um, which one do I need? Leaf stone. Do I have a leaf stone? I need you too. Do I have a leaf stone? I don't know. Alright, so we got what we wanted. Huh, I'll have to figure out where the leaf stone is. But yeah, because uh, I have no more room to store items. And as I'm picking up items, I'm having an issue with stuff. Um, so yeah, so which one is this? We're looking for the mimic, Mr. Psychic's house. Is this it? No. All right, so now that you, you beat the self company, um, there are a couple places we can go that we couldn't go to earlier. Um, most notably the gym, Saffron Gym, and Copycat's house. So I'm looking for Copycat's house. Um, not exactly sure where it is. Uh, sales latest product, released to be determined. Uh, is that Copycat's house? Doesn't look like it. All right, let's go all the way to the top. My daughter is so self-centered, she only has a few friends. Hi, do you like Pokemon? Uh, no, I just asked you. Huh? You're strange. Hmm, quit mimicking. But that's my favorite hobby. Oh, wow, a polka doll. For me, thank you. You can have this, then. Alright, we got TM31. TM31 contains my favorite mimic. Use it on a good Pokemon. Alright, so Mimic allows the user to choose one of the target's moves and keep it for as long as it remains on the field. It's not typically a great choice since it takes up a turn you could have used to attack, but in rare cases can be useful on Pokemon with bad move pools. So you give them another move option. The other thing to consider is that the most trainer Pokemons have pretty bad moves to choose from, which often makes Mimic a waste of time. It is unique, though. Alright, so... Ash found a Nugget! All right, so we're done. Um, the only thing that I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and move us towards where our next goal is. Which will be... We're going after the Saffron Gym. Once I remember where it is. It says I might want a Pokemon or a rope. All right. Because apparently this next place is it's kind of convoluted. I don't really know what that means. Um, I guess we're going to find out next time. Um, north E. Okay, so it's up at, all the way at the top. I promise. But yeah, so like I said, I'm, I'm kind of doing this semi-blind. I got a guy that tells me where to go so I don't get lost. Because I always find watching people play and get lost is nightmares on YouTube. Um, so it lets me know where I'm going, but I have no idea what I'm doing until I get there. So, um, until next time. Oh, excuse me, that was a big yawn in the middle of me exiting. Um, adios, amigos.